Go ahead. Corey came in the night. He was traveling with Gabe Owen, and they came in. They just were looking for like like soft action, just kind of like you know twenty dollars set stuff like that, just to goof off. And this guy here, John, was running this one pocket gaff game where you like have to run a certain amount of balls in one pocket in so many racks. And I think the game yeah, was it's a we yeah fun game. we'd been playing like, like playing I think thirty five balls in five racks between like you know us like the local bangers. So Corey comes in and he says, "All right, Corey, I'll give it to you, but you got to do like." It was either 45 or 50 balls in five racks. So Corey's like, all right, I'll do it. And they're actually, I think they were betting a pretty decent amount of money, a couple, few hundred dollars, you know. So Corey does something stupid, like the first or second or third rack, and just completely kills himself. He needs 29 balls in two racks, and he does it. <laughs> he, he ran 15, all 15, in one pocket, and then the next rack did 14 in one pocket. And, he, and the sick part is, is that... It wasn't that he did it, because that's Did that's intense in that he did it. No, no ball in hand after the break. You had to break the ball. Anything that you made in any other pocket would get spot would get spotted up. Did you have to make a ball in the pocket? You didn't have to make a ball, but you had it not on the break. It didn't, it didn't matter, but you just had to break them and then run. So he needed 15, then 14, 29 balls and two racks. So he not only did it, which is super impressive, he did it when he had to do it mm -hmm. for the money. And when I tell you that he was like, he banked in like four or five two-railers. When I mean like corn, out of the corner, like they were hangers. And, and it was on a double shim table. It was on table four right there. And he had to do it. And it was like, I remember John, I was here, the older house man was here, and a couple other people were here. And John was robbing people doing that the whole week. Like people are just getting killed. And Corey comes in, John tries to trap him saying, do 50 balls. He does 29, you know, in the two racks when he absolutely has to. I don't think John's bet on it since. I wouldn't either. It was literally, when I tell you, it was the strongest thing I ever saw. He was playing position in ways that you just aren't human. I heard Gabe did something similar to it. Right. Because I think uh, at Derby a few years ago, I heard through a few people that Gabe ran something like, in five racks, he ran like 60-some balls in one pocket. Which, I mean, it's, it's one of those things you kind of have to... Gabe and like, oh, the strongest in the world right now. Yeah, I mean, as, I mean, I don't really know that much about, like, the one-pocket scene, but from what I've seen, I mean, that, that Gabe Owen dude... He just doesn't miss, and like it was so sick. Like just think the the actual ramifications of running that many balls in one pocket. You have to have absolute perfect control of your cue ball and be an incredible shot maker. You know, I mean, because that's what Corey did. I mean, he was he was getting on balls that'd be this far off the rail, and he's getting behind it to shoot it in. You know, it's sitting in like you know right past the side pocket on the wrong side of the table, and he's banking a ball, and then I remember he banked the ball in like this, like he had a bank, it just a simple short rail bank. He flattens out the cue ball with high angles, hit it 8,000 miles an hour, goes all the way up the table, flat out the corner, and breaks up three balls that are on the pocket, gets on a ball, and continues running. You know what I mean? It's just, it's inhuman. <laughs>